Oh, hey YouTube. What are you doing here? You know you probably shouldn't be standing right there. Let's head over to the picnic table. Hey, hey YouTube. Welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. Hey, I'm Arabin, but you knew that, didn't you? Hey guys, I'm just out here enjoying the beautiful sunshine on this early fall day in South Carolina. And I'm shooting this beautiful rifle right here. This is my Henry 22 caliber lever action rifle uh, with the octagon barrel. I love shooting this gun. It's so much fun. And it's such a beautiful day. I figured I'd come out. Then I saw you guys. Also, I came over here to the man cave to pick out the knife that I'm going to carry on my upcoming men's retreat to the mountains of North Carolina. Like I said, I'm picking out the knife that I'm going to carry up to the mountains this weekend. Going for a three-day trip, a uh, men's retreat with a buddy of mine, Eric, his church. And I'm going up with Eric and his father, who is also a good friend of mine. And there we will meet up with nine other guys that I don't know, but I look forward to meeting. And we're going to spend a, a weekend up in the mountains doing some fishing, some hiking, waterfall searching. We're going to do some uh, reading of the Bible and getting into God's Word and uh, just relaxing. I'm looking forward to the fall colors. I, uh, just, I, I love the mountains and I love that I live in Central South Carolina where I'm just two to three hours from the ocean and about three hours to the mountains. Great. But anyway, the, the knife that I'm going to carry, I always carry a fixed blade knife. And uh, the one that I'm choosing for this trip is this one right here. And this is a uh, Elk Ridge Bushcraft. It's made out of 440 stainless steel. It's about seven and a half inches total length. It has a blade cutting surface of three and a half inches. Made by Elk Ridge. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it's a great bushcraft knife. Um, this knife is very used and abused almost. I had a leather strap on there and uh, it just wore out. So I'm going to go cut me a new piece of leather to put on there so I have a good strap on that lanyard hole there. But um, I need to clean it up a little bit. But yes, the Elk Ridge Bushcraft. But yeah, Elk Ridge is one of my favorite uh, fixed blade knives. It's got the full tang, nice wooden handles, great leather sheath. Uh, for those of you interested, the model number is ER551. And it says custom design 440 stainless steel by Elk Ridge Knives. And um, it's the Bushcraft. Again, I don't know if you can see that or not, but great knife. I'm going to go sharpen it up, get it ready to take. And I'm also in the shed to pick out the pipe that I'm going to take with me. And uh, I figured since we're going up to the mountains, it's going to be a corn cob. And uh, I figured I'd pick out my best Missouri Meerschaum corn cob pipe which is this country gentleman and I got some of my Frodo's weed here in my little tobacco pouch so uh, yeah I need to clean up the stem on this pipe but man I'll tell you what these Missouri Mirasom corn cob pipes are great smoking pipes and they're very inexpensive too but uh, yeah I figured this kind of goes along with the mountain theme and uh, so yeah, the, the knife and pipe that I'm going to take with me on my trip, this will probably be the last video until I get back. It's Thursday now. Oh yeah, I want to share one other thing with you. I got new ink. My son, not long ago, maybe a few months ago, picked up a hobby. And uh, it's not his job, it's just something that he enjoys doing. Because he's always been very artistic. He can draw just about anything. Uh, he's musically talented as well. He can play a number of musical instruments. He decided, hey, I want to start learning how to tattoo. And uh, 
he got a tattoo kit and the ink and all the stuff, the safety things and all that to go along with it. And he has been doing quite a few tattoos. I think he's done over 30 of them so far. For a long time I've been wanting to get a new tattoo, but I couldn't decide what I wanted to get. Now for about 20 years I've had this tattoo right here. This is the Triquestra. And for me what it represents is the Holy Trinity. God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And they're all one line. And then the circle represents eternity for eternal life. I've been wanting to get a tattoo on the opposite arm to, to kind of go along with this. And uh, I was going to do a Jolly Roger just because I, I love pirate stuff. But I wanted something that meant a little bit more because it's permanent, you know. Well, earthly permanent. But um, I decided on a compass. He drew up this compass and I thought, man, you know, the compass to me isn't so much about directions here on earth. It's not like an earthly thing. For me, battling cancer, especially in stage four cancer, it's all about, when I see a compass, it always reminds me to stay the course. That's what a compass means. When I look at a compass, now of course if I'm lost in the woods and I look at a compass, it means, okay, that's north, I need to go east or whatever. But when I look at this tattoo that my son gave me, it reminds me to stay the course, be strong, and uh, I, I just, it has a deeper meaning than just a compass. And uh, that's why I decided on this tattoo. I'm going to share it with you now. Hope you guys like it. If you don't, too bad because it's too late. I love it. He did an awesome job. Again, he's very talented. And uh, it's a little red right now because I just got it three days ago. Uh, so it's still in the healing process. But um, here, take a look at it. Tell me what you think. Pretty cool, huh? Like I say, it's a little red right now because of the healing. It's only three days old. But yeah, man, he did a great job, I think. And it's on the exact opposite arm as my uh, Trequestra, which is on the right arm. This is on the left. But anyway, I just wanted to pop in and do one last video before I hit the road to the mountains. Picked out my backy, my pipe, my knife, everything else is already packed up or I'm ready to go. Hey, while I got you, I want to thank all of you guys who have recently subscribed to my channel. We've got a lot of new subscribers lately. Welcome aboard. Glad to have you. For all my old time subscribers, hey, again, I continue thank you. And I want to take this moment and ask a favor of you. Next time you're paroling through YouTube or after you watch this video, scroll through my videos. I've got a, a lot of videos. Go through and look at some of my older ones. And if you scroll through, I bet you'll find a topic that piques your interest. Go check them out. And uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave some comments below. If you haven't subscribed yet, What are you waiting for? We'd love to have you here at Arab and Outdoors. And I hope you look forward to my video that I'm going to do next week about this weekend's trip. So, till next time guys, keep calm, carry on, keep it outdoors.